Last row to the right. Second. Joe, let's make yes, this sir. easy. What, what was, do you see on the play at home plate, and what was your argument there? I saw a great baseball play. I saw Schwarber come in on a grounded ball, use his feet perfectly, uh, make a low, great throw to the plate that could have been cut off had we needed it to be, but did not because we chose to have it go to home plate. Perfect skip hop, great play by Contreras. Uh, the ball kind of like taking uh, Wilson towards the line, towards foul territory. He catches the ball, and his technique was absolutely 100% perfect. Um, I could not disagree more with the interpretation of that rule. However, I will defend the umpires. The umpires um, did everything according to what they've been told, but I, from day one, have totally disagreed with the uh, content of that rule. I think it's wrong. I think there's any anybody that's played Major League or even Minor League Baseball will agree with me 100% on that. That was a beautifully done Major League play all the way around uh, that gets interpreted. Uh, kind of like it's tantamount to the soda tax in Chicago. For me. Um, see, I don't think the rule is called correctly either. I mean, from what I saw, the, the ball took Wilson towards that lane. Uh, I disagree with that. So I disagree with it on both counts, Your Honor. <laughs> the fourth row to the left, Joe. Yes, sir. Joe, uh, Q struggled in the fifth, but why did you remove him at the point you did? I thought he had had it. Emotionally, he pretty much was strained, I thought, at that point. Um, the couple walks really were indicators of that. Right around 90 pitches after five, that's a pretty heavy load. Based on what he's been coming off of the last couple of days, I thought it was the right time to get him out. And that's what we brought Hector in for. I mean, that was a perfect situation for Rondon. And then on top of that, we had already scripted that was a perfect spot for Montgomery. And neither situation worked out. Against the wall to the right? Joker. Yes, sir. For those of us not yeah. from Chicago, uh, what's the soda tax? The soda tax, I mean, of course, the Chicago ones here. It's something about we're taxing soda back there all of a sudden. I mean, my point is that all rules that are created or, or laws aren't necessarily good ones. That's my point. Kevin, to the right. Kevin. Joe, where's baseball headed when it's with these over-administrative rules of taking the game out of the well, hands? I'll give you players. another example. The slide by John Jay that was questioned in, in, in Washington to me was really, um, even the fact that that slide could be questioned bothers me. And listen, I'm speaking on behalf of, of all the guys that have played this game. I'm speaking on behalf of all the umpires. It puts them in an impossible situation. And uh, neither play was egregious in regards to trying to hurt anybody, uh, either John Jay's slide or the play at the plate right there. There was nothing egregiously harmful about either play. Um, I think there's room if you want to interpret the situation, whereas somebody's intentionally trying to hurt somebody. I think that's obvious. But those are just good baseball plays without any injury intent whatsoever. That's where I get concerned. I know I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for saying all this, but like I said, I know a lot of dudes that have played this game. I, I was not fortunate enough to play on a major league level, but I was a catcher involved in a lot of collisions. And uh, that was a well-executed play that we got uh, penalized for. And like I said, I mean, sometimes laws or rules are made that aren't necessarily good ones. And in my, in my opinion, those are both bad. Tim, to the right. Joe, the, yes, sir. the game... Um, the outcome may or may not have been impacted by that call. Correct. And I, I'm not arguing that. And, again, I'm not arguing against the umpire. I think umpire is doing a great job. I thought the game was really well officiated. I thought whomever had to make that decision, you put him in a bad decision in a replay booth in New York City. Right. Um, or LA, my question is, is, do you have any fear at all that – I mean, we, we don't see this, this call very often anymore for whatever reason. Maybe catchers – I haven't seen it all year, by the way, Brownie. Catchers aren't. You know, catchers are doing what they've been instructed to do, whatever. Do you have any fear at all that this impacts anything going forward now, that, that this is fresh in people's minds, that now catchers are thinking about it again? Uh, could this well, have another impact on this series? There's always the unintended consequences. There's absolutely – there's part of that. Um, again, I <laughs> – you – when a catcher – a lot of times the play is not called when there's a ground ball to the infield. It's more open to interpretation when the throw comes from the outfield, apparently. And, again, what I saw right there, I, th the ball was leading in towards the line. Now, if you're concerned about Wilson sticking his leg out, what else is he supposed to do right there? I mean, you have to keep your balance. You have to hold yourself in place. And, and furthermore, you should block the plate once you've caught the ball, which he did. So, again, I have, I have, I have to stick up for my boys. I've got to stick up for everybody that plays this game. Um, I thought it was inappropriate. I don't want guys trying to hurt anybody deliberately or intentionally either. I agree with that 100%. But there was no malintent 
with that play, nor the play in Washington with John Jay sliding into second base, where he totally embraced the bag with both hands, and that thing was open for interpretation. Popular side of the room, David. Yes, so sir. It looked like you, you were saying, what, what's he supposed to do? And what, Would what, you answer that for me, please? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to What kind of an answer? There's you nothing. He, I mean, he did everything right. There's nothing else he could have done. Nothing. Nothing he could have done differently. What, what were you told then? That I think, I think their, their interpretation was the leg being stuck out, uh, which they didn't like. But like I said, just imagine yourself in the position that Wilson was in physically, and you're sliding towards your left, and your, leg, your feet are kind of close together. At some point, that left leg's got to kick out for you just not to fall over. And the other point is to not hurt yourself. I mean, you could talk about not hurting the runner or, the, or intentionally hurting the runner or the catcher, but there's also the, the, the possibility of hurting the runner. The, the runner right there puts himself in an awkward position also by having to avoid. There's all kind of awkwardness about that. Play the game. Just play the game. And, and uh, there was no, no, it was just a perfect play that we got penalized on. Fourth row to the left. Yes, sir. Or, yes, sir. Joe, uh, pardon me for the subject change. Uh, a year ago, you won game five here. Yes, sir. Clinched the series in Chicago. How yeah. are these, te these two teams different from those two teams a year ago? Um, it's pretty similar, I think. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of difference, actually. Their bullpen's still really good. Um, you know, they're missing Seager right now, which is really pertinent for them. Um, from our perspective, um, I think – you know, last year we started out slowly offensively, then we, we caught on a little bit afterwards. Um, right now, I think the biggest difference is that we have to get our bullpen in order. That's probably the biggest difference between both seasons, uh, that we have to be um, able to hold small deficits or small leads in the middle and then hopefully get to Wade in a positive situation. I think uh, standing out right now, their bullpen is, is pretty firm, and we have to really get our feet back on the ground. Same row toward the center. Uh, Joe, if you agreed with the umpires, uh, where, where you, got, oh. you got thrown out. Uh, did you want to get thrown out? To make a point. Out? You got to make a point at some point, man. I mean, it's like, listen, I can't – I'm not just going to sit there and take that when I disagree with it 100 percent, and I, and I let Mike Winters know that. I, knew, I let Mike know what my intent was. Uh, listen, I could easily not say anything, absolutely, and I could easily um, you just, just can, um, acquiesce. Uh, but if I'm doing that, then I'm going against what I believe in, and I'm not going to do that. But what did you say to get thrown out, though? I don't. No, no you can't. You can't discuss that at all. I mean, that was that that I and I know that. I mean, I can't. Once the call is made from video replay, there's nothing I can say. Um, actually, I might be able to say, well, what did they say to you? But I was not interested in that. Oh, please. I mean, Albert just hits lefties. That's all that is. Albert's really done a nice job with that. He's been swinging the bat really well. Um, you know, bully for him. If you look at his numbers during the course of this season, he's pretty much been that guy, although he's gotten better against righties more recently. He's playing a really high level. He slowed the game down. He's really been able to slow the game down. And um, that's the part that you, you really could – Albert moving forward is going to be a really, really good everyday Major League Baseball player. Anything else? Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.